Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Rayman. The last episode we finished off World 4 and today we are starting World 5. So, let's get going. Crystal Palace. Now, as I've said at the end of the last episode, this is my favorite world in the game. Um, for many reasons and you'll see why soon. Oh, wait, before we go down there. You wanna do that. This is not really required, this is just gonna get you to uh, a power. Or like a big, a big B, but I still like to get it. These platforms, by the way, uh, don't touch the sides of them because they're spiky and you'll get hurt if you, if you do. So, I'll go down here. Um, it's kind of a weird time for me to be recording. It's, uh, it's morning. I usually don't record in the morning because I don't know. I start to like trip over my words really easily in the morning and. How many times have I said morning now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I usually don't do this, but I was in the mood to record, and later today I'll probably be um, doing other things. Uh, tomorrow, my uh, my girlfriend is coming over again, so I kind of want to uh, want to finish up this LP before that happens. Um, I mean, we'll probably record stuff together, but I just want this LP to be done. Whoa. Uh, yeah, sometimes it gets a little laggy. I have found out that that is because my disc is dying. It won't really... It, won't, it refuses to run properly. Um, there's not much I can do about it. I'll try to fix it in editing as best as I can. And I'm gonna try not to talk too much about it when it, when it does happen. Because that gets kind of annoying and it turns the commentary to crap and... Ah, uh, not that the commentary isn't already crap to begin with. I mean, what... Never mind, I didn't say that, but uh, yeah, this world, let's actually talk about that. Um, compared to the last world, this is more of a, a fun challenge to me. The last world I didn't enjoy as much, but this one, just the whole atmosphere, uh, I like the caves here. Um, I don't know, I have a thing for caves in general in games, maybe that's why I like Minecraft. I don't know. But yeah, it... it it's a. It looks really nice, and the music definitely definitely sets a mood. Not this song in particular, but the next one. Uh, the next song you're gonna hear in the next stage is one of those, and it's just like, oh my god, I love this world. And we're almost at the end of this first stage here, and we can. Yeah, they do the precision ring jumping again. Like here, you can't swing too far, or you'll swing into those spikes, and you still have to like. Uh, be at the top of your jump when you jump up to, to uh, reach the next ring. This gets kind of annoying too if you don't do it right. I do believe I got all of the cages in this section. If not, I'm gonna kick myself because I should remember where the cages are in this this world since it is my favorite world in the game. Now this place, the music, I I love it. It sets the mood for this world so well, and it really make it. It really has that cave feel to it. I don't know what it is. I just really, really like it. This place also has water. We haven't seen water ever since uh, World One, I think. I, I mean, the last world had water, sort of, but that wasn't really water. That was ink. Now, this one platform that doesn't have a thing on it. You want to jump down here and get this first gauge. Uh, I do believe this world was actually shorter than the last one was. Uh, I wonder if I can get out of here. I have things shooting at me and... Oh wow, I actually got out of that. I got hit, but I did get out without dying. So let's just get back over here now. And move on. This thing! And it just killed me. That's... That is not a good omen at all. Uh, those things, those spiders, or or scorpions, I think they're spiders. I really hate them. Um, because they shoot these, um, these stingers at you, which, uh, which are actually, which actually home in. And now there's only one spider, but later, whoa, got a hiccup there. <laughs> later on, there'll be more than one, and you're not gonna, jeez, stop hiccuping. What is with this recording? What what is with me today? I'm I'm in a really random mood if you can tell by my commentary. Okay, you're just gonna have to get out of here now. 
Or just go up to the ceiling and shoot your stupid homing stinger. But I'll hopefully be able to dodge. I think I scrolled off screen already, though. Those things follow you around but uh, for a pretty long time. I'm actually surprised it despawned there, because usually it doesn't. We can go up here and get a gold fist. I said we can get a gold fist. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> so, let us move on. Ah, checkpoint, finally. Let's hope we don't die again, but I know exactly where the last two cages in this stage are, so we should be okay. This might be kind of a short video, because I'm gonna do it per level again. Even though the levels are short in this world. And I just said that twice. Um, because I think if I... If the next level is gonna take a while, so I kind of want that to be its own video. And I guess that'll mean this video is gonna be kind of short. I feel like I'm gonna die here. Because these things move pretty fast. Oh, okay, good. A, a power. Now I'm not gonna die. You wanna go over to the left here. Where we find the case that we saw earlier. And that'll make a cloud appear. Now this cloud is kinda tricky. Um, because... Yeah, you heard something appear there. And it's gonna go over here and you're gonna... And you're gonna be like, okay... Uh, it's gonna go back now, so... What do I do? Well, you're gonna follow this thing back where you came from, and the second cloud will be there, and this cloud will take you to the next cage. It can be really confusing, especially if you remember there being a cloud, but you don't remember the second cloud, and you're just like, Ah! How am I gonna get to that cage? But yeah, you need this cloud to go through here. There's no other way to do this. And down here... Will be... The last gauge of the level, so now we just have to finish it all up, if we can. And luckily this Clyde will take us back. And now we're just gonna go on down here, and... I think we actually have a 1-up coming up, I wanna see if I can grab it. Unless I already missed it, but I do believe it's up here. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, this is where it is. And I just missed it. Wow, can I get back up there? Can I get back up there? No. Oh, I would have died if I missed that ring. I pushed the button just in time. These blue stompy rocks can get kind of annoying later. Like, I see things and I remember things in later levels and I'm like, Oh, that's gonna be wonderful to do. Especially the next level. The next level, well, I'll talk about that when we get to it. And I'm just gonna have to try and make this jump. Yeah, I, st I still say this world is easier than the last one. Even though I think they intended it to be harder than the last one. But, I don't know. Maybe it's because I like it better than the last world. And this can get kind of nerve-wracking. It's a lot of spikes. <laughs> Surprised that that didn't lag the screen, but then again, this is a PlayStation game, so with that, we are done with this level. I guess this video isn't too short. I mean, eight eight minutes is still kind of short, but oh well. And the next episode, we will tackle the next level, and I'm looking forward to it since it is my favorite level in the game. But until then, thank you guys for watching.